Hello again. You know, just recently, one of our prayer calls on Tuesday morning, um, this particular passage came up uh, quite a bit, and we were pressing in and praying into it. And it's a very well-known passage. Many of you know this. Um, and it's out of 1 Corinthians uh, 13, the love chapter. Many of us know this. And I just want to just read a portion of it and, uh, and then make some comments and just give us a posture. You know, out of ver uh, verse 4. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It's, it is not rude, it's not self-seeking, it's not easily angered, it keeps no accounts of wrong, makes no, takes no pleasure in evil, and, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, it believes all things, it hopes all things, and it endures all things. And the reason why I'm reading this today is I just want to encourage you that, that it is important that we don't bring cynicism into our prayer life. I, you know, we pray for government and leaders, and this is a very, very hyper cynical place. Ottawa, the Parliament Hill can be very, very cynical. Uh, that being said, the presence of the Lord is moving marvelously on the hill. But nevertheless, it still can be a cynical place. And we can bring that cynicism into our prayer lives. And I just want to encourage you that love hopes all things. When we pray from a posture of love, love gives us the ability to hope, to endure, to press on, to bear, and to carry. It's love that does that. And it's the love of God. You know, out of Ephesians, it talks, prays about that apostolic prayer that we are rooted and established in love. That the roots of love go down deep in our innermost being. And that is where we pray from. So I just want to encourage you today. Love hopes all things. I'm Chris Byberg, the director of the National House of Prayer. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.